Hello again. Welcome back to Eclipse and Java for Total Beginners. In this lesson, we'll continue to work on our library project using test-driven development. Our example program is going to be a personal lending library where we can keep track of our books and our friends who've borrowed them. This simple application will let us explore more functionality of Eclipse and Java. By now, you should be familiar with the basics of the Eclipse user interface. So we'll just start off in the Package Explorer in each lesson. At this point, we have a person class that we can use to keep track of people to whom we loan books. Now we need a book class where we can track all of the books we own. We'll discuss the specifics of the book class as we write the book test class. So let's get started. This process is going to be just a little different than in the previous lesson. There, we already had our person class created before we created the person test class. In this lesson, we're going to create our book test class before we create the book class. You'll see how this works as we go along. First, we need to create a new JUnit test class for the book test. So, we're going to open up the test folder, we'll go into the package we want, Right click. Again, we'll say new JUnit test case. And we're going to say book test. But this time, we're going to leave class under test blank because it doesn't exist yet. Press finish. And as before, Eclipse has created an empty book test class. Now let's talk for just a minute about the book class. It's going to be a very simple class. It will have fields for title and author, and it will also have a person field that will refer to the person who has borrowed the book. Let's start our coding by writing the test book method to test the constructor. We'll type it in and then examine it. First, we're going to create the test book method, which is a public void method. And in the first line, we're going to create a new book called B1. And this time, in the constructor, we're going to specify the title, in this case, Great Expectations. So we're doing that right in the constructor, and we'll show you that in a minute. Then we're going to do assert equals, and we're going to check that the title, Great Expectations, is equal to the title field in the book. And then the last line is very similar. We're going to say assert equals and we're going to say that unknown author is equal to the author field in the book. Now there are two things that are a little different here than in our first constructor. First one I mentioned earlier, we're using the title right in the constructor so we can not only create the new book, but we can set its title in one statement. Then the second thing that's a little different is that in the assert equals, we're naming the fields, not a get method. And we'll see why in a minute. Now, as we might expect, this class has some compile errors. Now, even though it does have these compile errors, Eclipse will still let us run the test. Let's go ahead and try it. We'll go run, run as JUnit test. It gives us a warning. Errors in the required projects exist, but we'll go ahead and say proceed. And then, not surprisingly, we get unresolved compilation problems and book cannot be resolved to a type, which means there's no book class. So that's not too surprising. Notice, by the way, that we've got a different way we can uh, switch back and forth between the J unit window and the edit window. If I press this minimize button here, J unit window disappears, and then if I press it over here, it comes back. So that's just another example of how in Eclipse there are a lot of different ways to do things. So we can try different ways to arrange and use the Eclipse workbench and find the way that we like the best. Now let's use Quick Fix to help us fix the compile errors. 
If we click on the first error in book, we see that it says book cannot be resolved to a type. Now if we hit control one for quick fix, it's giving us a couple options. I don't think we want to import a book class, but creating a book class sounds like the right thing. So let's try that. So if I double click it there, gives me the option to create a new Java class. Now we want to be careful to create our new class not in the test directory, which is where we're working right now, but in the source folder. So we'll just change that to the SRC folder, press the finish, and it's created our book class for us. Let's return to the book test class and fix the next problem. So if we hover up here, we see the constructor book string is undefined, which is true. So we'll click Control-1 to get the quick fix. And again, the second item, create constructor, is what we want. And Eclipse has created a constructor for us. Now we'll save this, go back to book test, and we see that error is gone. So now go to the next error. And it says title cannot be resolved or is not a field. So if we click on that, control one, create field. We'll go back, click on the author. It's the same problem. It says create field author. And now Eclipse has created our two fields. Again, we'll save this, go back to book test, and now we don't have any compile errors in book test. Now that the test book method compiles, we can write our book constructor. If we go back over to the book class, we see that Eclipse has added our fields and has created the outline of our constructor with the right method signature, which is a single string. Now notice that Eclipse put in this comment with the word to do all in one word in capitals. And that's a special comment that Eclipse uses for keeping, helping you keep track of tasks. If we go up to Window, Show View, and come down to Tasks, it opens the Task window, and you'll see our task listed there. Now I like to have the tasks down here. We've got a little bit more width. But basically, you can put in a comment and create your own tasks. And then when you remove the comment, the tasks drop off the task list. So just a handy little way to keep track of tasks within an Eclipse project. So let's fill in the body of our constructor. And it's very simple. It's just this title equals string. And this author equals unknown author. So again, we're setting the title to the string that's being passed in from the calling method. So we'll save this. We'll go back over to book test in the JUnit view and rerun the test. And this time it passes. Now, to save time, we're going to let Eclipse generate our get and set methods for us. So remember, we go to source. I've got the book class open. We go to source. We say generate getters and setters. We'll move this down. Now, we'll set the get author and set author. We'll, we'll create those methods. For the title, since we set the title in the constructor, we'll just add a get title method. We don't really need to be able to set the title once the book object has been created. So then we'll press OK, and Eclipse has created our three methods. So in this lesson, we used the test first approach to create a brand new book class, and we created the test before we even created the class. In the next lesson, we'll link the book class and person class together 
so we can tell whether a book is checked out to a person, and if so, to whom. This is the end of Lesson 7. I'm Mark Dexter, saying so long for now.